What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be hitting a back workout. We're gonna be trying out some new pre-workout, some Vandal uh, Pink Paradise there. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Some juicy pre-workout. We're just gonna single scoop it today because uh, we gotta go to work and sleep. So nothing too crazy. Comes out with a nice pink color. Alrighty guys, it's uh, time for the initial taste test. I had it once before actually, but I mixed it with uh, another pre-workout. and The flavor wasn't great, so I thought I'd give it another try. As you can see, it's that nice, uh, that nice pink lemonade color. Taste, I'd have to rate this like a we got six or probably seven out of ten actually. It's pretty smooth, doesn't taste super plasticky. But uh, now it's time to pack the gym bag and get to the gym. Alrighty. Lacrosse ball, Thera gun, wrist straps. We shouldn't need wrist straps, but just in case. Last but not least, some AirPods so we can get that extra focus and hit those PRs. So I just uh, pulled up to the gym here and Unfortunately, the building's closed due to a power outage. I'm not sure if you can, uh, if you'll be able to see, but you can see like up there in the building, there's no lights on. So it looks like we're gonna be heading back home and uh, most likely hitting something in the garage, probably some rows, maybe some deadlifts, um, some curls, and we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. But one of the biggest things you can learn from being someone who's working out, whether you're lifting weights, running, crossfit, whatever you do, uh, being able to adapt and overcome, whether it's injuries, little things like this, where, oh, the gym's closed, you know, can I go do a workout in a park or whatever if I don't have a home gym? Those things will all compound over time and make it a lot easier to, to you know, stay active and keep up with your workouts and everything like that. So I'll uh, see you guys when I get back to my house. <sighs> what is up, guys? Um, so the gym is closed. We're using the garage gym and a squat rack couple dumbbells, couple plates. Uh, the workout for today is going to be, I'm gonna do five pull-ups, 20 curls, five rows, and then 10 ab rollouts. And we'll do three minutes rest and we'll do five rounds. So that's a full round what I just said, three minutes rest, another round, and we'll do that for five cycles. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be a pretty good workout. A little bit of like high intensity cardio. But without further ado, slam the pre-workout and uh, start the warm up and then get into her. A uh, little thing, I like to warm up using the Theragun. Uh, I find it just like helps muscles loosen up, get the blood flowing first, and like I've reduced my injuries a ton. Um, yeah, I find it's been super useful. Even though I'm hitting a back workout, I still like to warm up my shoulders, kind of hit the front delt, get the whole shoulder area, and I'll do this for a couple minutes, uh, swapping shoulders, everything like that. Another great place to get is like your low back, this region here, so you warm it up by simply just bringing it up and down. It feels a little weird, but it can help big time. Then you can kind of bring it up, get your upper back, and obviously for longer than I just did, but I found doing that has helped me tremendously. I can lift more, recover faster, and reduce my chances of injuries, which is kind of what everybody should want, or at least that's what I want. All right, you guys, I'm gonna do the quick circuit, pull-ups, curls, rows, all that stuff, the uh, roll-outs. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and then I'm gonna get into it and actually explain why I like those exercises and why I'm doing them. So uh, let's put the tunes in and get into it.
Oh. Alrighty, so there's a little bit of a circuit. Um, I cut out some of the ab rollouts. Uh, changed up the curls a bit, but that's pretty much what the circuit is. And then I do like five rounds of that. Um, it's a nice and easy workout I can do. Like for instance, the gym's closed, so I can do it at home now. Uh, pull-ups are great because it works out not just your uh, back, but you get a bit of secondary bicep action there. Same thing with the rows, hit more of the mid back. And some biceps in there, and then the dumbbell curls over dumbbell curls. But yeah, that's uh, essentially the workout. I'm gonna go do four more rounds, and then uh, I'll see you guys. Alrighty guys, so the back workout's done. Uh, the back cycle, five pull-ups, 20 curls, five rows, the rollouts, and then uh, for five sets, three minute rests between, uh, or five rounds, other three minutes rest between each round. It's pretty good, nice little pump, uh, nothing crazy. Would have rather have gone to a real gym, but it'll do. Uh, my go-to post-workout, some whey protein, creatine, and then I mix it in with uh, some homo milk there, so I think it's like 3.25% or something. So we'll make this real quick. The biggest, biggest, biggest tip I can give is put a little bit of whatever you're mixing in first, because most of us, like, you wash your shaker, rinse it out just before you put your stuff in, and then it sticks to the bottom. This way, it uh, actually won't stick to the bottom. Put a scoop in. Creatine, and then uh, just add some, add some milk there, and then chuck the lid on. Nice and easy. Tasty post workout. It's about 50 grams of protein because it's two cups of milk, and then the protein powder. So it's a nice, easy, quick digesting protein as well as your daily creatine. Thanks for watching. Come back every Tuesday to crab new videos. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you back here.